You know that you control me Guilty self-affliction Prey on me when I'm lonely But now I'm your willing victim My friends already told me But I don't wanna listen Shocked, you know? Oh, Taeyun giggling as well Okay, ulti gonna get him out of there as uh, teleports coming in. Teleports from everywhere, actually, as Fake is going to flash. Ult comes through from Bulldog there as well as the flash forward from Dudu. Pulled back by the Infernal Chains. 900 gold goes to Kuz. Isaias is dashing forward. Not sure about that one. Not dead for a little while. Actually manages to take down two. Never you mind. He is a monster. It's a triple kill. For Carrier as well. Zayas now looking for this, does find the third Q, and aiming gonna That's miss a another ultimate. It is, and Zayas is running real quickly. It's a 1v2! It is, it is. Um, and aiming's now melee range with a with a Kasante, and now he's dead. Uh, Kingen is now mini Nar as well. Able to get out of the way of a few of these Qs though, and Zayas gonna get flashed on. There it is, the boomerang to the back of the head. That was very And And instead, he goes to the... Okay, there's an all-out. Ah, uh, perfect. Looking to try and dash his way out of this one. He has the needlework. He's trying to dodge. Oh! Is it going to be the return? It's not. Zayas is going. Very well be the end of it. But Viper hasn't done any dying in this game yet. I don't know if he's going to start anytime soon. Is Sekka? Sekka just runs at Yone. What is that? Yeah, that's... Zayas just says thank you very much. Without Smite, they do have Teleport. And T1 is still wanting to fight for this one. That's a flash over the Tidal Wave. Shockwave comes through though, and that's a great double bubble. Zayas able to take down Satap here as the dragon is still amongst it. It's a double kill for Zayas, who is just a wrecking ball. And they were a man down, but T1 is still making it work. Make that a triple. Able to dash himself out of the way. Good shockwave here from Faker as Sponge crashes down on top of him, but Faker's got the arm guard and he'll keep himself alive. The fire kick, not really something you're too scared about. And now Zayas is underneath turrets, not too worried about much at all. Wants to find a third Q, there it is. And Pleter is just wondering where the heck damage is. He wants to go back to being an AD carry, I think, but Umbral Dash over the base gate. And Zayas is out of there. Uh, and now T1 are just going to rain hell down on the rest of DRX. Oh, Pleter is... Leave him alone! Oh, it's so cruel, isn't it? That's another kill. There's the ace, and T1 will now just... This is quite a gold lead, though. It oh, is. oh, they're making a play! All right, looking for it, Zayas. Has been attacked here. Morgan is losing out on the battle, but he has buddies that are turning up. Polo's there, Envy's there. Everyone is on their way, and I think everyone might be necessary. Isaiah is just trying to take matters with their hands. He picks up one. Is it going to be more? Oh my! I was getting world's flashbacks there, ladies and gentlemen. He goes one for one though in the one versus five, and they well, see what they're able to actually get out of this. Grabbing the wave here on bot, the very least, going to get themselves a turret. Closure does have TP. Oh dear, there is not a lot of vision down here. As uh, Carrier just throwing Qs left, right, and center. Chains of Corruption onto Willa! And there is the Infernal Chains. It will be broken by Willa, though, as the Magnus Storm comes in, but the immediate kick. I just don't know whether there was the right choice. Karma. Fade's Call now coming in. Wait. Carrier off to the side. They're taking so much damage as Zayas gets into melee range. And you know, you know that's bad news. There goes Clear, and now it's Whitewash once again. T1 just tear them to shreds. There you go. Yep. Oh, Peter is going to get stunned momentarily. Zayas finds an ultimate, and they just blow him up. Goodbye. Where did yeah, go? part of the problem playing the Rakan into a TF from the fight, so that he can't get into that backline and make things happen. Q's coming in, but a lot of this poke on the side of Fierex isn't landing until now, where the handshake comes back in. But that is an Aatrox. I don't know whether you want that one. As the Magnusorm flies forward, and it's Gumiyushi that blows him up, and now Zayas will just jump all over them. And that's a clean ace. Structuring these buildings on sand, you know? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that, safe. heard of that issue before. Is okay, season assist onto Teddy into that backline. He flashes, he does manage to get the ult, but the shockwave is too strong. As Faker, eight kills to go now. Zayas able to take down a double in the backline as well. Sponge gonna be taken away also, and DRX, they're left with only Ram. And Zeka has the package here. So they really have to respect that to T1. Come and on, Hanwha. In fact, they might just back off of this one. But let's get us see. the free. Trying to get in. The hook is on Azeka, but the package is pretty good. Owner isolated, but he's just so tanky. He gets into the front line with the package help. And Karrion gets super low, but I don't think they care about that at all. As the damage from Viper is non-existent, he's totally zoned away. And that will be another T1 victory in this team fight.
Oh, poor Viper. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're, you're dead. <laughs> Good, am I gonna take that yeah. one? Yeah. Esports. Yeah, don't, just don't start it. Yeah, they're it. just not gonna flip. And they can poke really well as well. Not as not as well as Corky, but decently well. So now it's gonna come through and how Life Esports say, okay, we're calling your bluff. Let's see if you can do it. Let's see if you can get on in here. They're gonna get on top of Seca again. He's dead. And that's the end of the Corky. That ultimate, that was very unfortunate. And this goes the way. Wait. Okay, Delight. Viper! Do they get it? Viper, he's frontlining. He might be able to just come oh. off. I know he goes down. And now it's up to Doran. Can he do it with the Elder Dragon? Is the only question. As Zeus and Guma, I don't think even the Elder Dragon's gonna help them at this point. The TP comes in from Faker. And we have the results of our first game. It looks like. Hellfire maybe. here onto Ona, but it's still just ticking down. And Carrier is just pushing the jungler away. He's going to solo him. And now Steadfast Presence means you're not making it out of this one. Zay is going to pull the Nara around. And Showmaker, can you be the hero, is the question. Looking to get over the wall, but he's not going to get there. Ona just being poppy and avoiding death as Carrier says he's the AD carry now. As he takes down aiming another solo kill. Also, it's going to give less time before you can... Spell shield doesn't give you the opportunity to react. Well, there's an all out and a glacial prison. So Zayus should be going down here. Does flash the wall though. And never mind, he's Aatrox. He doesn't die in these situations. And now Morgan finds a Q. There's the knockup. The permafrost is there. He gets so much of his health back. And now Faker gets enough time to turn up. And so Zayus once again is the noble sacrifice. And T1 will then just clean up. Yeah, so Guma gets his first item. Oh, I've seen this attempt before. Well, then they're going to be used as Morgan. Gonna break the chains. Now goes for the all out, but there's a teleport. Guan's coming in as well. He's got the ulti and he'll use it on top of Gideon right now. He has, has the Glacial Prison, so Faker delayed a little bit, but it does not matter. This Sejuani is well and truly dead, and Morgan is not gonna be left up as well. Karis is just. He's like, oh, no, 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 this isn't where I park. I mean, this is uh, Delight's trying to make a play here. They're trying to get on top of Faker, and he is going to be isolated Dead. now. Trying to frontline for the team. It's not going to work. There's a lot of sticks in this dragon. Can they actually get it down, though, is the question. As Zeus is going 1v4 in the back line, he takes out Saya, and they get the Infernal oh. Tornadoes. It's going 1v4, and they have to flash away from this one. Doran was not in the fight at all. He didn't have TP. And the TP advantage is going to be what turns this game on its head as T1 will take out Delight as well. Uma has a summoner's available TP coming in. Harry <laughs> is like, yeah, I don't really care about the uh, <laughs> karma in this case. Alt is going to be utilized on the perfect, and Zeus oh. is so huge. And he will take him. Well, Carrier can be a ward. Chains of Corruption do go wide, though. There's the Paranoia and Execute. No one's there for the rest of his team. Another Pop Blossom hits absolutely everyone. And the Shockwave says just pressing all of his buttons. And this is going to be the end of this game. Closer is going to have to flash away. But the only upside is that he can maybe have a rest on his fountain. And even then, that is not going to be allowed. There are a couple of Nexus turrets that are proving to be a little bit frustrating, but Faker's going to be able to collect that kill. And uh, Kerry is going to take a well-deserved rest. They're fast, you know, shake off some of those nerves. It's now this Rift Herald fight coming on in, not going to be stolen. And now Owner in a lot of trouble. Look at that CC chain was so clean, but immediately Gideon is going to go down. And now Zeus has joined the fight. Going to make quick work of that Varus as Morgan trying to do a repeat of what we have seen from Cassante from time to time. Has a lot of dodging there on the knockups, but there is just so much on the side of T1 as well. Slow coming in, and can they actually kill the Cassante? Yes, they can, with the help. The flank. Oh, that's a pretty big one. Nicely done by Palu. The follow-up is pretty strong, but they're not going to kill anyone just yet. As Karia gets away, Faker's pretty low. The Q's going the opposite direction. And nobody can really do damage to Zeus after all of this. It's now he's actually the damage dealer, and Guma's just on the run. And Zeus is still at full health. That's going to be the end of this fight and the end of this game as Palu will stay alive. Good heal, Mary, there from Breon. You got to go Both three apiece. Both teams. Not going to have any void mites this time. It's Trophy looking to deliver something to Zeus here. He's burning down. But uh, I don't think it's really going to be a thing that works out. Faker teleports in, collects himself first blood against Kane. And that first one did not work as Carrier. 
to take a little bit of damage here from Keen. Not too much to worry about. Got a big old zoom out as there's the Cataclysm from Ona. Gets a huge amount of knockups as Keen now in a different spot. Is there's the three man pop. Blossom as Faker comes in. He gets exhausted, but it's still enough to get the kill under the hands. The whole bottom lane's taken down. Snip, snip, snip goes Zayas. And there's the flag drag flash from Ona to secure Chovy. Four on the ground for Gen G. T1 with the team fight. It's like gone all out. Zayas is going relatively low. He can press W for that shield, does do so, gets a whole bunch of his health back. And uh, Keen has pressed so many buttons, and it is done next to nothing. Does call in the tree, as there's the Dawning Shadow, and first blood goes to Zayas. Oh no! Chovy should be able to get this kill, but I feel like the damage has almost been done. Oh, this is so silly. It's taking them forever! Oh, okay, Zayas will be taken down. The Arcane Smash going to help get set up. Around an objective is what this composition wants to do. This Canyon, pretty far away from it for now. Nature's Grasp up and available once again. Let's fake it down to 50%. Ona lurking on a flank angle. They can push for in here. Genji needs to force. Yeah, Zayas just trying to be annoying in that front line. Ona can get the kick into the back line. Empress Divide onto two as well. The Wombo combos in. Lance tries to get it done, but there is no Varus. There's no Tristana. And T1 have found yet another one. But Keen trying to find it. Does get a decent angle, but the Neil is still up and available, and she does so much damage. Lance trying to get to his base, but once again, it's the T1 team fight. Don't think the game's over as much as it was in game number one, but it's looking rough. There. Yeah, Canyon actually getting relatively low. Keen at full health because he just teleported back, but Pays possibly vulnerable. Faker in 10. We'll see whether they actually go for this one as the Baron getting lower and lower. Chovy auto attacking it. And it looks like Gen G are a little bit split on the decision. There's the Q from Keen. It's big. It's Gumiyoshi, the Apotheosis. And T1 will find the team fight. The Baron goes down. Yeah, Canyon manages to get that one. Jovi's still alive as Faker Wait. once again. And he gets the Baron. That is certainly good news. First death goes over to Canyon as the triple comes in. There is one Baron up for Gen G. That's, that's my bet. So we'll see whether Quantum Freaks can bring that to us, but it's not looking good as T1 close in on the inhibitor turret towards the top side of the map. Jisung gave me a lot of question marks in the teleprompter, uh, just to let you guys know. So she is really confused about what this hair bet even means. It's now Taeyun. He's getting taken down extraordinarily low. Cuz now 50%. Zayas is right in towards the back line, and a wild growth means nothing to this Yone. He will still cut you down where you stand. Good flash there from Cuz. Feels like a delaying of the inevitable. And I don't know whether the pigtails are going to be a reality chronicler. It's a little bit unfortunate. As Quantum Freaks, one last opportunity for defense. Flash forward there from Zayas. So much damage from this Yone. Magnus Storm is fantastic, but a, a fountain is still somewhat dangerous. Gumiyushi, not too worried about this whole situation, though. He's got a pocket Melio and a dream. And he's just feeling invincible. The Nexus is exposed. The flash forward from Gumiyushi. So much DPS. This is what the Lucian is first picked for, I guess. And the Nexus will go down. Pop goes the Lucian, but so does the Nexus. Still better than game number one. But this is T1 moving themselves back into a good position as the Ornhorn has been rang. There's the knockup onto Dudu. Equalizes decent as now he's looking to try and turn it. But oh my goodness, there's the flash forward. Zayas wants to find even more. Needs another Bellows Breath or a dash. As there it is, he does dash on forward oh! and the Bellows Breath comes in. That's the solo kill for the Orn. Especially not with Bulldog not there to defend. He is going to be able to get themselves a turret on this top side. So there's going to be six, sorry, five turrets taken here as now Kaz goes a little bit too far forward. Gumiuchi with the culling just goes straight through the Vi. And the rest of the team are also just turning to dust. A double for Faker and a double for Guma. And they are not stopping there. Nexus turrets in their sights and T1 earning themselves a pretty early night here with a 2-0 over Kwandong Freaks. Bulldog not even safe on his fountain as T1 get to work. My goodness. They are looking like they're a bit angry about the result of the match against Gen G, and they've tidied things up here. Is looking to punish the new guy. Some hazing here. Doesn't have W yet. Yeah, this is, this is very, very rough. In he comes, and Pyoshik is nowhere near 
The Ghost has been used. First Harpoon doesn't land as everyone chasing after Perfect, and he is really dead. There's First Blood, and it goes to Zayas. Bad news here for KT. The skills of death, I think, still are going to be quite big, as... Huh. Yeah, he's just... He's just dead. He's just dead. To do so yeah. as well. Um, I just prefer not to watch this top lane, guys. Um, this is just... It's just unfair. Uh, Perfect is going to die. Um... Kerry yeah. is going to be taken down. Faker has to go back and doesn't have teleport. And now Perfect. there's an all out onto Zayas. The Weaver's Wall coming in. Zayas trying to be the hero as PDD almost just dead. The Honey Fruit not quite there. And another Q. Owner is delivered. And that was a weird interaction. But Perfect is once again dead. Owner is also, though, as Death cleans it up in the pit. Not quite the kill from the Draven. He's so much more damage than realistically he should, as here, just a level timer. This is just fundamentals, right? Yeah. Uh, perfect, gets red perfectly by Zayas. The Tom Kench, and Perfect finds himself into that back line, so no real answer here as BDD has a flank angle as well. Perfect oh. diving forward, my god! Gamushi's gonna be taken down, and now BDD, the perfect execution, he doesn't get the shuriken, but still, he's able to chase after the pop of the Ignite. It's ticking, and Beryl's able to lock it down, but the extension is so large! Zayas almost able to just clean it up, but it snip, snip, goes perfect! And the Gwen will still be able to find the kill. Bring a few of those together because it can't stop here. As Pyoshik, he's going in. Cease and desist down onto Gumiushi, but maybe that's what needed to happen for Pyoshik as Gumiushi's bullet follows him all the way forward. And now they are in the BDD. shooting rounds. BDD, does he have the perfect execution to try and lock this one down? Zayas is all the way underneath an inhibitor turret. He goes all out, but perfect is kind of okay with it. BDD is real dead though, and Gumiushi, he is now tidying up as the triple okay. kill comes in. And Zayas is still alive. He went for a journey amongst as many inhibitor turrets as he could find. And it's a clean ace! Is it just the game? Yoshik will be able to get in there. They do manage to secure it. And now Gumiushi looking for even more. Good fire kick to interrupt the culling. As in goes BDD, finds three, but there's no one else there! No one's in the vicinity! And he's taken down! My god, this Zayas damage is absurd! And it's a decent little attempt there. Last breath perhaps from KT, but T1, they snuffed them out, and now they're looking to clear up this base and claim the first Telecom War of 2024 as their own. Yeah. Trying to turn the tides here, Flash. Oh, the dodge was excellent by Zeus as he goes unbound. It's mostly a mid-game, I think, where we saw a lot of pressure. Oh, uh, coming in, all out. Right. Zeus in some trouble as he is unbound, but now Doran not gonna hit the knockup, the timing is not there, and he doesn't get the kill just yet, finally gets in, but he goes down. Zeus gets himself into a rough spot, at least he's able to trade it back, but Doran picks up the first blood. Here's owner actually, so the jungler who's up here and maybe makes a difference might be the T1 jungler. Doran is alone, he is gonna hop past them, but the stun comes through, and that should be enough even against Cassante. And now that's Zeus picking up two kills. This is where we're gonna try to have to get a fight going. Maybe we can pick someone off. Carry at this, take some damage. And now, I mean, it's T1, you don't have to fight this, but if they do look for an angle, they could go for it. Owner just looking for the combo. There it is, that's the kill. And there's the stasis, and Faker lives, and down goes Peanut. And now Viper's in the front line. He's taking so much damage, and down he will go as well. Zay is super low, but just flashes away. This is a total wipe in favor of T1 as they take down three members of Homolife Esports and the Truma. No, 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 no. No! <laughs> Come on! Well, that was uh, pretty elementary from Owner. Just over the wall, just doesn't, doesn't even cast anything, just smites it. As now, Zeus, okay, that shockwave was massive, and now Zeus finds the angle, picks up two, and he's looking for a third. Doran will be gifted over to Guma. As now Karia just following the light around the look map. Look at the base! <laughs> the minions got mid at him! Guys, look at these guys. He's having fun. Oh, man. Oh, Karia had to do him dirty. I thought he would, you know, take him for a little walk. Delight's got a big smile on his face. This game is over. Oh, the eight Into drops. the brush. Oh my goodness. They get the ward down. The world ender comes in and now the feather storm is there for aiming. That'll keep him safe for now as owner is getting so, so low, and Lucid dives on top of the Aatrox, but it's not gonna be enough to stop him ripping them to shreds. They get the knockup, but is it gonna be enough? The answer is no, he is just too big. And Ona able to jump in on top. It's a double kill for Faker as well, and somehow it's a clean ace. Charge now missing. 
As, all right, in goes Carrier. He finds the backline, the shockwave to take down Closer. And they're going to utilize Ona to try and get on top of Henna. He's going to get feared and taken out. And the damage dealers are just dead in the blink of an eye. That's how this composition is supposed to work. And T1, they give up on the Drake. It's time for Baron. Oh, man, Henna is not going to buy it. Ah, but there is an Aatrox, and now there's a very dead Callista. Zeus, um... That's a lot of items you have there, sir. Uh, like in, in grayscale? As I said. All right. Um, <laughs> I guess you just kill him. That's how you do it. Um, you will die, though. And Faker gets his 10th of the game. Uh, Sylvie's also in trouble. This might be 11, as he's down extraordinarily low. There it is. 11 kills. And uh, T1, with their Baron in tow, are looking to try and break Let's it. Say, thank you for the leash. We're just going to continue this objective. As Owner holds on to the helicopter, he's not going to use it just yet. Perfect, trying to get that flank as Faker goes over the top and it's just going to flash away from everybody as meanwhile, Piozik's just isolated on the backside of this fight. They do get Faker, but the damage is already done here as Karia gets a massive three-man knockup with his ultimate. And that just might be the nail in the coffin. KT are being wiped up here with a triple kill from Zeus. As Perfect might be the only one to get away, but a big team fight win going the way of T1. One for a Baron, they're looking for the flip. Owner tries to get in, he ults, and he will take it away with the smite. It looks like Willer also uses. Gary gets hit with the Devourer as well, keeps him alive. And T1 are in an excellent spot now, as Zeus, meanwhile, just bullying the enemy support, and Clear won't be able to get it done by himself. He does live for quite a long period of time, but... Uh, not going to be enough. As the root comes in onto the Tristana and T1 finally. Triple kill here on the Zeus. And it looks like they know where Willer is as well. I mean, this should be the game ending fight for T1. I mean, they've got Soul, they've got Baron. Willer goes down. It's the ace. And they can push to end. It's looking pretty likely. I mean, with the Baron kill, because why not? He needs some POG points. Don't think he's going to get them in this game, though. As Executor's just dead as well. Zeus, he's trying to. Bargain for his own POG points. Zeus Ray go home. He's done with this series. <laughs> He's going to get the kill. We've got a battle here on the top side of the map. Gideon, can you make your way in? As he doesn't. Gets knocked up there. Oh, now he's going to try and turn it, but Kerry is going to turn up as well. Looking for the opportunity. Guon turns up in the nick of time as well. They do get their prize, but they'll have to sacrifice two for it. And Kerry is starting to get more and more fed. Guon to be hyper aggressive as now Gideon has found Zayas, but Kerry has found both of them. And he's just walking. Look at how menacing he is. Doesn't have Devour up and available, but he also cannot die no matter what they do. And there goes the tree. Polo going to be taken down here. Gideon in trouble as Morgan. He thought he had the safety of an inner turret. He does not. Carrier does not care about that damage at all. Flanking Aatrox. Well, Tidal Wave is going to be invested here as Envy. I don't know about that one. There is the Vi. Manages to catch out the Sivir and Karras. The next one on the chopping block. And the flanking Aatrox is just going to come around and execute him. No more damage left. No more hope for Bro to stop this soul. He wants to teleport back in. The Elder has been started. T1 moving over towards his control ward, so they know that this flank exists. There's the Weaver's Wall as Zeus. He's on the wrong side of it for now. The Tidal Wave does come on in as he's looking for the Qs, and now he dives in on top of them. The Sivir does take down Guon to start this fight off, but I have a feeling that's the end of the good news. There goes Envy. It's a double for Zeus. Make it a triple as T1 will just wipe the floor with Bro. They'll take themselves an Elder, and this may just be the end.